I found this card catalog in a creepy corner of a garage of an estate sale. I brought it home and I put it in the creepy corner of my garage for several years. But now we need a new TV stand in the basement, so I'm finally working on it. It obviously needs some help as it's topless and legless. I removed all the brass hardware and cleaned it up with, yes, that's right, ketchup. I took off the planks that the person had put as a pseudo top and then got started on stripping it. I wanted to remove the old finish and color and just start fresh um, to give it a new look. I have a full tutorial on how to strip wood furniture, which I'll link up above. You should check that out. After washing away all the extra stripper with mineral spirits, steel wool, and a cloth, it was time to sand down the piece back to the natural wood finish. Sanding with 120 grit sandpaper will remove any old color and stain that's left on the wood and give you a fresh start um, with natural wood. Now here was the next dilemma. What color should I use to stain and finish the piece? I thought about doing what everyone else is doing, which is using a whitewash finish on the oak, but I just didn't want to do it. So instead, I went natural and used a natural colored stain and an oil-based polyurethane to bring it back to its natural oak color. I think this makes me old school, but I really love the orangey undertones of oak. Um, I think it's super pretty. Now this vintage cards catalog is still topless and legless, so we've got to do something about that. I really wanted to get a piece of oak to put on the top, but when I priced it out, it was over $45, and it just wasn't something I was willing to do at this point. So I found a piece of edge-glued pine in my garage, cut it down to size, and painted it black. It was easy to solve the problem of not having legs. I got some metal ones and screwed them into the bottom. Now the before and after here doesn't look extremely drastic, but I think the new look is fresh and now it's functional and it really highlights the natural beauty of the oak wood.